There are so many things at the beach we would get excited about. Sand, sun, some relaxation, and maybe some food and something cold to drink. But on the other hand, these places can be extremely dangerous, even deadly. The beach is a weird, wild, and wonderful place. This is not your average day on the water. You won't believe what's out there waiting for you. Make sure you bring your camera. If these 15 beach moments were not filmed, no one would believe it. King Crab Catcher It's not clear where this video was taken, but along the coast of oceans around the world, many people forage for food. Whether it's clams or mussels, and especially big, beautiful crabs like this, we can find all sorts of nutritious and delicious edible creatures. This king crab was discovered after recent rains, and this young man is on its trail. After turning over some rocks, he comes across a coconut tree that's been washed up, and sure enough, a king crab awaits. But he's ready. He got his trusty wicker crab basket and some twine to tie up the crab's legs. Those pincers would have no problem busting through his basket, so his special tying method keeps his crab secure, and in the basket they go. This must be the crab catcher's lucky day, too, because not soon after he finds another big king near a rubber tire semi buried in the sand. There's going to be some good eating tonight. Crab legs with melted butter and garlic? Yes, please. How to catch a crab by hand is too simple. Just hold their back and avoid their claw. It can bust your hand easily. This young man's twine technique is perfect for getting those king crabs home safely. Bon appetit! <coughs> Stunningly preserved giant squid. This would be a heck of a discovery. It's already incredibly rare to find a giant squid in the ocean, but to find one beached? Unheard of! The 13.7 foot long deep sea dweller was discovered on a beach along Britannia Bay in southwest South Africa. Beachgoers discovered the creature and immediately alerted authorities, who were quick to arrive on the scene. One of the people who captured the footage says that the creature was still alive when he came across it, its tentacles flailing about in a fight or flight type motion. It was dying and there was nothing he could do about it. It was removed and properly disposed of once it passed. Deep Sea Garfield Treasure It started in the 1980s. I know it's been quite some time. Bright orange phones and fragments of Garfield, the novelty orange cartoon cat, have been washing up onto the coast of Brittany, France for the past 30 or so years. But why? All those years ago, a freight ship carrying a container of the phones had an accident, dumping three crates of the phones into the ocean. As the ocean churns, a few phones eventually make their way onto shores. While it is humorous, environmental enthusiasts aren't too thrilled. <laughs> World's oldest message in a bottle. A woman picked up a bottle while going for a walk around sand dunes on a remote beach in West Australia. She had no idea what she had discovered, taking it home and drying the contents in the oven revealing an exciting piece of human history. Experts have confirmed it to be an authentic message from a German warship during World War II. The bottle's note was dated the 12th of June, 1886, and mentions being jettisoned from the German ship Paula as part of an experiment into ocean and shipping routes by the German Naval Observatory. What an incredible piece of history. The South African Muscle Mystery If you like muscles, then you're in luck, but I suppose it lies in the eyes of the beholder. It was a bit of a shock for locals living in South Africa's Plattenberg Bay when they awoke to find their typically gorgeous beaches blanketed with thousands upon thousands of mussels. It's certainly not the first time the world has seen this phenomenon. Still, it's definitely one of the most extensive occurrences. Scientists offer several theories to explain the mussel mystery. However, it's important to remember they're still working on the full solution. Although the wash-up was first attributed to the fear-mongering destructive algae bloom referred to as red tide, most experts doubt its validity. According to South African National Park marine ecologists, this event was most likely the result of a large ocean swell. If you start to get very dense beds of mussels, a strong sea can potentially rip off large mats of them, he explains. Most of the mussels were still alive when they washed ashore, which likely points to the latter cause. Red tide would have killed most of the mussels, so that is another reason that theory has been tossed. Long-lost wooden boat. What a fantastic story. 
27 years earlier before it beached on a Wisconsin shore, a second grade class in Duluth, Minnesota launched a class project boat on what would be a historic voyage, or at least it was for the class. They waited and waited to hear a response from the marked ship, but to no avail. The class conducted the experiment to see where it would travel and in what time frame. They just assumed it another casualty of harsh conditions of the ocean. With no words, after months and months, the class had given up hope. Heck, the kids of this second grade class would be in their mid to late 30s by the time of its reappearance. Buried in the sand, about 20 feet from the shoreline, the little painted boat struck out from the sand like a sore thumb. A couple who often walked the beach of Lake Superior came across the little toy boat, but first assumed it was a buoy or fishing equipment. When they approached, they discovered the little toy boat had a message in it. They could have never imagined what entailed. Inside was a signed and dated message 27 years in the making. How long had that ship been buried there? Had it just washed ashore or was it buried this entire time? Once it made the news, some of the second grade class members jumped at the chance to close the story loop. A few members of that class claimed the intensity of happiness overwhelmed them upon its discovery. <coughs> Siberian Beach Snowballs In Siberia, they have one of the strangest things to wash ashore in history, if not the most fun. Footage has shown this Siberian beach littered with snowballs. How this happened still baffles experts. This is not just a few snowballs here or there, we're talking 11 miles of densely packed snow. It's like the ocean rolled a million snowballs overnight and spit them out by morning. Can you imagine the snowball fight that you could have with this kind of event? Siberia, if this becomes a regular thing, you need to hold a massive annual snowball fight festival. Whose childhood fantasy would that not quench? It's definitely one of mine. Unfortunately, the balls are suspected to be chilled orbs of ice that washed ashore due to a rare environmental process, so a snowball fight might not be the best of festivals to conduct. During the process, snowballs of ice form in the rolling waves, are rolled by wind and water, and end up as giant snowballs by the time they make it to the beach. At the center of these snowballs is a solid piece of ice, and sometimes even sharp shards. <laughs> Unexplained mass extinction in Russia. Thousands of dead octopuses, starfish, and other sea creatures are washing up on the shores of the remote Russian peninsula of Kamchatka. That's a troubling sign. The clear, pristine waters surrounding the peninsula have begun to give off a foul odor and turn discolored. Avid surfers say that their noses and eyes burn so bad that they couldn't surf the last few times they went out. Animals and people have started abandoning the once beautiful waters, affecting the lives of everyone around it. Those who choose to stay in the murky waters become another statistic in the mass extinction. When the Russian government was asked to intervene, they discovered an unidentified slew of toxic chemicals present in the water. Though an investigation was supposed to have taken place, the unidentified status still remains as well as the source of the contaminant leak. It's become such an issue in the area that the Greenpeace of Russia has dubbed it an ecological disaster. The outcry from the public has been heard far and wide, and no action or results have yet to take place. <laughs> Massive oil rig. A 19,000 ton oil rig washing ashore? Now we're talking crazy. After a severe storm in 2016, the near 20,000 ton oil rig, the Transocean winner, was towed out to sea when it broke free. As you can imagine, with something as large as an oil rig, it's not as simple as reattaching the rope and towing it back. We're talking a 20 ton weight picking up speed into the gusting winds and forceful waves. You think stopping a runaway train would be difficult? Imagine a runaway oil rig. To make matters worse, the oil rig was carrying 280 metric tons of diesel. Luckily, no one was on board or got hurt, and no diesel spilled from its containment. I can only imagine the type of cleanup job that would have been required should that diesel have escaped. Thank goodness for the people of Scotland that it didn't. More like, thank goodness for the people of the world, but especially Scotland. It does make for a pretty humorous tale now that everything is said and done. I only wish I could have been on the shores of Scotland when this thing came into view. I bet it was a sight to behold. Sea pickle invasion. Sea pickles, technically called prosomes, are a gelatinous, bioluminescent, cylinder-shaped creature of the sea and most often found in the warm ocean waters of the tropics and Caribbean. 
You don't see them in non-tropical areas often. Today, that idea changes. Sea pickles are storming the Pacific, northwest in unprecedented numbers. I'm not talking one or two here or there, I'm talking full-on invasion. These things are swimming north by the millions and scientists have no idea why. Global climate change is the number one theory behind the massive migration. Waters are beginning to warm everywhere. Warmer waters means go for the sea pickle. Where the water was once frigid and much too cold for them, it's now just the right temp for their expanse. Scientists aren't the only ones who are frustrated with this new invasion. Fishermen are having a hard time keeping them from clogging up their nets. Weeks of work can be wasted when a swarm of sea pickles decides to take over. Their travel trends show no signs of stopping, troubling the entire science community with what this could mean in the future. Gigantic Lion Mane Jellyfish Imagine going for a jog along the beach, as you might have done for all your life, as this father and daughter running duo had. It wouldn't be unusual to come across jellies that have been beached or even a whole school of them. To find a lion's mane, one the size that this family did, is rare indeed. Just take a look at this thing. The massive jelly stretched across the sand with a whopping six-foot diameter. To say the least, it stopped any beach walkers or joggers dead in their tracks as they came upon this monstrosity. Luckily, no one was stung by the monster. Its massive size could have injected a lethal dose of poisons, and the lion's mane jelly is a notoriously potent one anyway. The man who happened upon this creature has said he was almost eaten by the massive jelly. Of course, this is an exaggeration, but it is an excellent description of how disrupting this monster was for everyone who made a stroll down the beach part of their daily routine. I do know one thing, if it was I running down the beach who came across this massive loogie looking monster, I would have turned around and started jogging my terrified butt back home to find another daily habit. <coughs> Toxic Seaweed Mexico In recent years, everywhere from Florida down to the Caribbean and Mexico has seen an invasion of seaweed known as sargassum, and it stinks, literally. The foul-smelling seaweed washes up on the beaches daily and requires an extensive cleanup operation. It will decay and stink and deter beachgoers from going anywhere near the location if it is allowed to remain. To say the least, it's hurting tourism. Earlier this year, scientists warned that a vast seaweed island the size of Jamaica was heading towards Mexico. Still, the problem was even more extensive than they had suspected. The problem is only getting worse year by year. The brown algae are not only an eyesore, but also extremely toxic. If you plan on booking that sandy beach destination this year, make sure it's not covered in this stuff. Once on land, it quickly decays, giving off the foul, rotten egg smell that alone is enough to deter. The smell comes from hydrogen sulfide, which can be extremely toxic in high quantities. With the amount of seaweed invading the beaches, there's plenty of toxic consequences. Breathing in the toxic air could lead to anything from shortness of breath, dizziness, and skin rashes to death. Just earlier this year, an oyster farm died as a result, and nearly 11,000 people a year check themselves into hospitals due to sargassum toxicity. The Kaplan Fish Roll When conditions are right, when the tide is right, maybe some mood music, thousands of silvery fish using their fins as a sail carry themselves to shore. This isn't suicide, this is mating time. That's right, these fish nearly beach themselves in unison, get busy, and start spawning. Thousands become tens of thousands and so on. The best part? Kaplan fish is good eating. And when they call the Kaplan roll in Newfoundland, hundreds of cars park near the sandy shores for miles upon miles. With a bucket in hand, anyone and everyone can gather a feast. Many people are drawn to this event as it provides months of food if preserved. The festival is so visited that it causes significant traffic congestion during the work week. According to locals, for someone who has never had the pleasure of seeing it, it's quite a phenomenon. The weirdest part is that the fish don't stop going at it until all the adult males have died. So I guess it is suicide for the males, whether it be known to them or not. Hey, at least they went out with a bang. <laughs> Giant sea pipes wash ashore. Giant pipes run deep beneath our oceans, connecting oil lines and other resources across hundreds of miles of distance. Some of these pipes are still under construction. They run the length of entire countries, with the aim of one day connecting all the world. Though that goal may be a long time off, it's essential to understand the project's scope. It makes what comes next easier to understand. 
Obviously, these pipes are massive and large enough to carry thousands of gallons over large distances in minutes. These massive construction projects are relatively new, so mishaps are bound to occur. One such mishap occurred with an almost half kilometer long section of pipe that washed up on the Norfolk coast. After an accident involving an Icelandic container ship carrying the pipe sent them crashing into the water, the 1,570 foot length of piping beached between Sea Paling and Winterton had risked crushing that same distance of beachgoers. The piping company has since warned any from entering the beaches until all pipes have been removed and accounted for. Luckily, no one has been harmed as this could have quickly come and flattened 1,570 feet of beachgoers as easy as the snap of the fingers. All piping has yet to turn up. If you find yourself swimming in that area, beware. <coughs> Alien Blue Sailors Many have had the chance to see the bright blue of the ocean. Sometimes it's a mystical blue. A blue beach, however, is something out of a fantasy. After a violent storm in Oregon, a stroll along the coast might lead you to a site like this. Thousands upon thousands of Vallea Vallea, otherwise known as by the wind sailors. Their unique mixture of blues and greens create a magnificent display of beauty and strangeness. Some call the event a blue tide. The blue, jelly-like creature uses a sail-like part of its body to drift wherever the wind may carry it. Though their appearance along the Oregon shore can be considered often, a display to this magnitude is rare. There are thousands, if not millions, stretching for miles along the coast. With a primary food source of plankton, by the wind sailors, venom possess no significant threat to humans, though they can still hurt like a jellyfish and in a congregation can deliver higher doses. No danger doesn't mean no pain. It's best to just look and not touch. The shores where the oceans meet peninsulas can be considered a location where two worlds collide. More questions have arisen on the shores of our planet than any other known location. It's no wonder that many times objects of history or mystery turn up on the churning coast to be found or buried beneath the shifting sands of time. How much of our world lies right beneath our feet? Just one good storm away from an incredible discovery. Hopefully someone is there with a camera to get it on the internet ASAP. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our lit content delivered right to your inbox.